so glad you're joining us for Hope today. And you know what? There is nothing like praising the Lord in every season, no matter what we're walking through and journeying through. And we're just so happy that you're joining us for the next 30 minutes. We have an action-packed show for you today. Tom, who's coming up? <laughs> oh, we have Michael Fian coming up, and you are going to not want to miss him. He has got a great new um, a whole music project and we're going to show the video of someone prayed and it's so powerful and so strong and he's got a great st a story about his own life and about adoption that that it's just it's just heartwarming and uh, be sure you stay with us because you're not going to want to miss that. Yeah, and then in even just a moment, we're going to have a pastor from our Faith and Family channel that Tom McGuff is with, so you don't want to miss that. He has an encouraging word and a message just for you. Well, uh, I, we've got a verse, you know, Cindy, you've been really happy over here today. I I mean, she's like, you, did, you should have seen her before we went to air. I mean, she is happy over here I today. I was happy, I was singing, I was singing songs. I had, I don't know, just sometimes, you know, there's just certain days where you just spend a little time with Jesus. You're just happy of all the things that you've gone through, you've walked through, but God is just so good. It's important for us spend to praise him in all time. Extra cups of coffee or no. something, I'm telling you. Uh, <laughs> But uh, we have a great verse about maybe maybe you're not so happy. And here's, here's a verse that uh, tells us what to do. James 5.13 says, Is anyone among you in trouble? Let them pray. Is anyone happy? Let them sing songs of praise. Tell me about that. You know what? I, one thing I love, there's nothing like the power of prayer, no matter what season we're in, no matter what we're walking in. But one thing I know in my own life is just no matter if I'm going through a tribulation, going through a trial, if I feel like I see a mountain before me or if I'm in the valley or if I'm in a storm, you know there's something you can do when you just start praising the Lord, when you just start th thanking Him for the little things, for the small things in your life. I am telling you, something happens in your spirit. There's breakthrough that comes. There's change that comes. Your mind is renewed and it's reset because it's so important for us to know who our good father is. And you know, even something today, Tom, that God laid on my spirit. And I just got like even teary eyed. I was listening to the song coming from the gym about this whole idea of peace, that Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Peace is a person and it can only be found in Jesus. And when you spend intimate time with him, when you surrender and lay it all down, it's amazing. The peace that surpasses all understanding when you start lifting him up and praising him, what it does for your spirit inside. I love that, that it's a person. We are called to a person. We are called to not a religion, not a code of ethics, not something some kind of better self-help thing. We are called to a person, a relationship with a person. And I like what you said, Cindy, you know, sometimes when we are, it says that when we're happy, that we need to sing praises, but sometimes in the valley, in yeah. the very middle of the hardest thing, the hardest time, you need to sing praises too. Uh, the sacrifice of praise. Jonah praised the Lord, gave the sacrifice of praise from the belly of the fish. So whatever situation you're in, it's not that bad, okay? It's not as bad as that. So have that, have that within you. That's part of that relationship, that trust, that faith that happens right then when, when you need it the most. And Tom, I have a question for you, because I don't know if you do this, but sometimes like my husband, Jake, I know he's watching today, there will be times I'm singing in the shower and I'll just make up a song. And sometimes just even doing that and just singing to God and singing those songs, it just does something to his spirit. So I just want to know, do you ever like sing and make up songs to God? <laughs> uh, I usually sing in the shower and it's usually nothing about God. It's just something, whatever uh, hits it, hits my head. You know, the interesting thing, in the shower is when God speaks to me though, a lot of times. Yeah. That, that just that, and you don't have anything to write it down, you know? Yeah. So you really have to remember. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's a good time. It's a good time to be refreshed by the Lord. And it's so important that we get that refreshing every day. But right now we're going to head over to Tom McGuff, who has a very special pastor to give you an encouraging word. Thank you, Sydney. Pastor Adam Lawson is the lead pastor at Fresh Fire Church and, and now just involved so much in the ministry of the Dream Center mm -hmm. in Uniontown, Pennsylvania, and one of the boldest proclaimers of the truth that I've ever met. My brother, welcome to Hope Today. Thank you, it's great to be here as always. Now I wanna tell for our viewers, I wanna, I wanna tell the story about how God brought us together mm -hmm through the Faith and Family Channel. And it would have been back in 2014 when we very inauspiciously were literally going to Bible studies and Sunday schools and worship services in the mission of building a team that God was building together that we would call the Faith and Family Channel. Yeah. And I remember that summer, 2014, before we went on the air, being with you at breakfast, I had seen you, I believe, on YouTube, yeah. and I just, I, I was convicted, and Lucy was convicted, that this was to be a church. Praise be to God. Who would have imagined back at that breakfast, 
at those inauspicious beginnings that God would bless us. Look what the Lord has done. Amen. It's been extraordinary and what we've been able to just see God do and uh, really the, the places that we've been able to minister that normally we wouldn't have had the opportunity. Right. Uh, you know, just Sunday we had prayer requests come from Africa, My you know, goodness. and we Thank hear you, from, God. I think we've heard from 48 nations wow. um, since that time <laughs> because of streaming, because of, you know, Pittsburgh Faith and Family. So it's been just an extraordinary partnership. and. Um, you know, you and I have talked off the air and just uh, you all had vision for us and you believed in our vision, even though, you know, we believe in what God had called us to do. But you partnered with that and you saw something in us before it really ever became a reality. When we were uh, broadcasting <laughs> on YouTube with a small camcorder and, you know, rent to rent to own equipment or right. uh, hand me down equipment from somewhere else before we had any lights in the ceilings for TV. That's right. uh, you believed in just a word that was coming forth That's right. and the, the mission and vision of the church. And we so appreciate that. And um, uh, we're, we're blessed by it. And uh, I, I've said it before. I've said it many times just before we had all of the things that were needed for TV. Uh, you guys believed us and supported us and gave us an opportunity and uh, really to just build the kingdom of God because it's about that. It's not about you know, our church name or uh, Pittsburgh Faith and Family, but it's about the bigger picture, which is the kingdom of God. And we've been able to partner and uh, see people, see yes, the kingdom of God impacted and, and built because of that partnership. My brother, you have an uncommon obedience to the direction of God's Holy Spirit and you will do what appear to be crazy things mm -hmm. because the Holy Spirit is directing you. The Dream Center, it is part of that, one of those crazy things that the Holy Spirit has, has given you the opportunity to lead. Absolutely. Uh, I really believe God has called me always to just never be in a place where I'm comfortable and the people <laughs> I lead. And so every time we sort of reach a benchmark, it's, it's just as if God speaks again. And, and I've had people say that I have crazy faith, but <laughs> I dare to believe God for the impossible because that's, that's right. what I understand from his word. If, if he declares it, decrees in his word, we can believe for it. And so uh, we've really just seen the need to uh, not just be a, a church where we're speaking the word and praying over people, but we, we teach people how to rebuild their entire lives from uh, whether it's to recover from poverty or a lost job or an abusive situation or addiction. Uh, we just, the Dream Center is really a, a place where they're going to be able to get um, total life recovery, where we're going to be able to provide food and clothing and job assistance and uh, teaching them different trades. And so it's an extraordinary project um, that we're, we're excited about because I really believe you can change a person's behavior when you change the way they think. Right. And so it's about getting the Word of God into their, their lives and their minds and really just changing their, their life from the inside out. You will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Absolutely. The truth doesn't set you free. Knowing the truth Absolutely. is what sets you free. I, I want to give you an opportunity. You have an uncommon boldness in, in sharing that truth. And I want to give you an opportunity, Adam, to just look into the camera and to share that truth with some, someone that's watching this program today and you maybe don't even know why you were watching. You, you just flipped through, you stopped here and not even sure why. I wanna give you an opportunity to tell that person about the hope that they can have in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Uh, it's an extraordinary hope that we have in Jesus. As, as Tom just said, it is that you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. And I'm grateful for that truth. I'm grateful for the truth that each of us can know uh, that his truth sets us free from uh, whatever bondages, issues from yesterday. I just want to encourage you today that yesterday is gone and today it's a brand new day. And in, in Christ, in him alone, that we have that freedom uh, and, and that truth and that you can know that today. And I just want to encourage you today that we're here and we're praying for you in the moments they're going to they're going to go to prayer and and prayer partners are always here for you and that you you have the opportunity to know Jesus and then know him personally. What we're talking about, the crazy faith that I possess, you can possess that, too, just through a, an extraordinary relationship with Jesus Christ. He's the same yesterday, today and forever. He's the one that will never uh, reject you just because of uh, of your past. I'm thankful that that people may remind me of my past, but he never does that it's covered, it's under the blood. And I'm grateful and thankful that today we get to share that truth with you. And uh, we love you, we pray for you. Thank you, my brother, thank you. And it thank is you. just a blessing to be a friend, 
to be a partner in ministry Amen. and how God is blessing our Pittsburgh Faith and Family Channel now. If you're Comcast, it's 1185. If you're uh, Verizon, it's 472. If it's Armstrong, it's channel 95. And if it's Atlantic Broadband, it's channel 119. So Amen. got church, we do 24 yeah. seven. Praise God. My friend, thank you for all that you're doing thank for the you. kingdom and, and just being a friend and partner of this ministry. Thank Praise you. God. Well, coming up in 60 seconds, you'll discover how the power of prayer was the inspiration behind musical artist Michael Fian's new project. Stay tuned. During this month of Thanksgiving, we want to say a special thank you for your faithful prayers and giving. We're excited to offer you this beautiful gratitude journal with your best gift to Cornerstone Television. With inspirational and thought-provoking prompts and scripture quotes, this guided journal will help you in your discovery of finding peace for anxious moments, joy in life's blessings, confidence to face every moment, and strength to persevere in hardship. This journal also makes an excellent gift. Its soft touch matte lamination gives a silky smooth texture to the hard cover. High quality binding allows pages to lay flat when open and a beautiful satin ribbon conveniently keeps your place. Request this special journal when you give your best gift. Call 888-665-4483 or go to ctvn.org slash donate. Thank you for giving to Cornerstone Television. God has blessed us with the powerful gift of prayer. Man, it is a wonderful gift. And when we pray and believe for it, miracles can happen. And answered prayer was the inspiration behind musical artist Michael Fian's new project titled Someone Prayed. He joins us now to share how his music provides a message of hope and redemption to our hurting world. Michael, welcome to Hope Today. Thank you, Tom. I'm well, very honored to be here. Thank you so well, much. We're, we're blessed to have you. So, so just tell us about this new project. I mean, you, you're from a, this is an interesting bunch of words here, Christian, metal, rock and roll, background. I mean, I love all that. I, I think all that fits together really well. But tell me, to, to come from uh, that world into this new project, uh, someone prayed. Could you tell me about it? Uh, yes, I mean, I, I joined uh, the band White Cross in uh, 91, and God just took me on a huge journey with that. And um, this project really came out of left field. I mean, I this wasn't something I had planned on, you know, being an artist as opposed to kind of being a backing, you know, the drummer in the back. Um, but God just really just this, like I said, it came out of left field, but I'm, I'm so excited and just things I've had on my heart for so long, you know, that I can just kind of pour out into this music now. And so I'm very excited about it. Well, again, what, what is the, the story? What prompted the idea of someone prayed? Someone prayed when I wrote that with the, the first uh, producer that I had, uh, Butch Dillon, a great friend of mine. And he brought like a little, a snippet of this song. And I, I just gravitated to it right away. And we started writing this and I just started drawing from um, a situation that my wife and I had went through when we adopted our daughter Tatiana from Russia. And it was a, a challenging time you know, and we just had people praying for us, you know, the whole, uh, it was about like a year or so, you know, we had to go to Russia twice. Mm -hmm. And um, so I just drew from that a lot. And then later on, which is pretty bizarre that we would be going through a time um, where I'm kind of living out this song. And I love what Sydney said earlier, like when you're going through those valleys to praise and that is not easy, but that is key. And my, I love, my wife said something that I, I love about this song. She said, everybody has a someone prayed story. Mm -hmm. You know, even if, even if you're not a follower of Jesus, someone is praying for you somewhere. Um, and 
I just, I love the feedback that I'm getting from this, from this song. I get so many people saying, you know, man, my someone prayed story is my grandma. She was on her knees every morning mm. praying for us and, and just tons of stories like that. And I love it, you know. And that, that is so good. I, I think we, we all have those stories. I know I have those someone prayed stories, but why don't we go right now? We have the music video here. It's really great, everyone. So uh, here is someone prayed. Someone, somewhere prayed for me. I really don't know who, and I really can't say when. It could have been my father. I really don't know. It could have been my mother. No, I can't say for sure. When I was down, when I had down, caught in the storm of life and no way out, when I lost faith, when I lost hope, it was your prayers that brought me home, someone prayed. So few are called, called to be Standing in the gap as you prayed for me How did I make it through? I was hanging by a thread You reached out your hand The prayer that you said when I was down, when I had down, caught in the storm of life and no way out, when I lost faith, when I lost hope, it was your prayers that brought me home, someone prayed. Did you see me down and out? Circling in my clouds of doubt. Did you see the pain? Did you call out my name? Michael, what a touching song about someone prayed and just even seeing the video of you holding your daughter Tatiana in your arms. What a wonderful, beautiful <laughs> moment through the power of prayer. And you know, if you're watching right now, we do have a prayer line that is available all the time at 888-665-4483 because we have someone always on the other line that is available to pray for you. And Michael, I just want to ask, I just really sense in my heart, can you just take a moment and pray for somebody, a viewer that's out there, like a lot of moments in your song talking about being in 
that storm, being in that place. I mean, even seeing like a, you know, having to lay a loved one to rest. I mean, there's so many of us are dealing with different things, but can you be that person to stand in the gap and pray for someone in our audience right now? Absolutely. Absolutely. Huh. Father God, I pray for um, whoever's watching this right now and um, that you would just really speak to their heart and let them know that the God, uh, the creator of the universe, loves them and gave the greatest gift heaven could offer in Jesus. And um, that that you have a plan for them, Lord, and I just pray that you would cover them with peace and comfort with whatever they're going through, God. And we just, we thank you, Lord, that we can talk to the creator of the universe, Lord, that it is a personal relationship. It's not a religion. And so I just lift up this person now for strength and for blessing in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. So, Michael, just uh, what, what it, has it been like just having Tatiana and what God has, has done through that relationship? Just, you know, just tell us, you know, what, what has God done? We saw the, the wonderful uh, uh, welcome and the hugs and all of that. What's it been like? It's, I mean, I, I really, it's hard to imagine my life before that. And I mean, God has taught me and my wife so much uh, through this adoption with Tatiana. Um, you know, how we're all his adopted children. And just, and just so many things of like patience and forgiveness and um, yeah, just it really op opened my relationship with God, you know, through this relationship. So. Yeah, I, I, I remember when uh, we had our first and it's like, I understand God the Father all of a sudden <laughs> a different way. Yes. That's yeah. right. <laughs> exactly. Well, well, Michael, uh, again, the, 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 it's called Someone Prayed, and it's a part of an EP, right? It's, it's, uh, there's a, a whole project around that. Yes, that's right. That's right. And hopefully I'll, that'll be, that's the plan to release the full LP in 22. In tw oh, in 22. But they can get the song. Anyone yeah. that's watching can get the song now. Yes, this EP, this four song EP is available on all digital service platforms on my website. So yes, that is available now. And we'll have a link to your website on our website. Michael, thank you so much for sharing your story with us, sharing your talent with us and sharing your heart for God with us today. Thank you, Tom. Well, guys, that, that, that was powerful. And, and as, as he was praying, Tom, I, I, I laid my hands on these requests that we have. We have so many people that call in. In fact, last year, 77,000 people called mm -hmm. into our prayer line, but that's not what's important. That number is not what's important. What's important is that Pat called in. What's important is that Lisa called in, that, that you called in. And because and, God sees it, he doesn't see the whole crowd. He sees us. He certainly does. And you, you know, I've, I've been literally haunted by Paul's three rhetorical questions to the first century church in Rome. He said to them that anyone who calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. We know that. Praise you, God. But how can they call upon him when they don't believe? How can they believe when they've never heard? And how will they hear if you and I don't tell them? So as we pray, it's, 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 there's an urgency. I believe that, that, that the time is now and it's, and it's never been, been more right for us to pray for those that don't know Jesus as their Lord, to pray for our family, to pray for our children, our, our grandchildren, great-grandchildren in some instances, but to pray with that mustard seed of faith, believing in advance that God will touch, that God will transform, that God will change those lives and turn things around for them. Yeah. Praise be to God. Yeah. 
You know, Tom, as you were just talking, I just saw this vision of what it would it look like if all of us just started getting together and just started praying. Mm. What it would it look like if we started praying with our family? Because I can say like from experience, even right now, my family is walking through some things, but mm. we're seeing the miracle working power That's of right. God. What if it's God, you know, we've all are crying out for revival, but what if revival starts be, first begins with us and that we just begin to gather with our families as the body of Christ. We just start praying for those, those that are lost, those that are broken, those that are downtrodden. I mean, there's a whole generation that's out there seeking for answers, but we know the true answer because Jesus is the way, the truth and the light. Mm -hmm. But how many of them really do know that? And it's up to us to share that story, to share that testimony, to share what has happened in my life that I can tell you that he's a good God, that he's the one that walks with me in the valley. He's the one that's with me on the mountaintop. He's the one with me late, like when I'm just crying out to him, he is there. That's what makes him different than any other God. Try any other God, but I'm telling you, try Jesus and things will shift. Things will change inside of you and you'll just see him begin to have those ripple effects in our lives. So it's so important that we tell people about the truth of Jesus. And I'm so amazed, God, I mean, I said, God, I would say, Tom, <laughs> that we've been just talking about God gives us the opportunity to pray, to use our mouth, to even speak and yes. to communicate with him. You know, what you said reminded me, you know, Charles Finney, the great revivalist, he said that um, when you see Christians praying on their knees, heartfelt prayer, he says, you can expect a revival to break out. And then he said, indeed, it has already begun. Mm -hmm. When they, when we get on our knees, you want to see revival? You want to see change in your country? That's you want to see change in your community, in your church, in yourself? When you're on your knees praying to God, it has already begun. He has begun to do the work. He has begun to change the, the things that are inside of us. And that's really where that revival happens, where that change happens. It's in that relationship, that place where we say, hey, you know what? Maybe revival needs to come in here first. Mm -hmm. And then, then we can start to see something happen, something change, something new and something fresh in our community. Man, it's so great. Take the, take the time, don't let this pass over as a television station. Take the time to say, I wanna see something happen in my life today. We want to see something happen in Praise our God. lives today. We just want to say thank you to all of you that support Cornerstone Television Network that produces Hope Today because if it wasn't for your faithful partnership, we couldn't do what we do every day. And there's nobody like us in Pittsburgh and across the area that we love to bring hope 24-7 because our hope is only found in Jesus Christ. And we hope that during this whole program that you've got a taste of that, a touch of that, and now that you can take it in your home, your work, wherever you're going today. On tomorrow's Hope Today, Finding God in the Darkness, author Charlotte Thomason shares her story of the unspeakable abuse she suffered in her childhood and how God's love can bring hope to those who are hurting. That's tomorrow on Hope Today. Cornerstone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.